Lunch break. Lunch break's <laughs> over. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Tyler Tasmanian Tiger 2. In the last episode, we, uh, we saved some... You know, you might as well just get hit so that we can just start back at the out, out the outhouse with full health. Point taken. Anyway, we, we saved some sheep and we saved a weird alien thing. And in this episode, we are going to be doing one of the optional missions in this particular area, which... And showing off the other optional mission, which I hate with a passion. But, uh, anyway. Let's get a move on. And I just have to mention that the optional missions, because they're optional, are really freaking difficult. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we were in this, in the particular mission I'm going to for a little while. For the whole episode? Well, every, well, every death I'm going to be heading in editing out everything we've already seen, so. So the fuck so the rough file for this particular part might be really long. Inside this temple is the deadly stone beetle of Rhino Karnuk. If you face the beast and live, oh wait, this is the mission that I fucking hate. Oh, what I hate. Lots of opals. Ty's doing this stupid ass mission for crap loads of money. Fuck this thing. Oh, Fuck it. it's a grinding. Hard. Oh, a grinding mission. Or are you just grinding the entire time? Is there a lot of opals on the end, or just a lot of opals in the grind rail? A lot of opals on the end. All these bags are only five opals each. Oh, um, not worth it. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't seem that bad. It's stupidly long, and it gets really freaking hard to dodge shit later on. Good? I can't remember. Go tie, go tie, go tie, go 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 Well, 
obligated to have a report of a recording. Yes. Should be a pit up soon. that we were told to be looking for in the last game. I was just kidding. I am a princess, though. Say, you're an outsider, aren't you? Yep. And I'm Ty, the Tasmanian Tiger. I'm from Bush Rescue. Ty? Apparently Ty doesn't have a last name. That's dangerous. And some might say stupid things you do. I prefer to think of it as bravery. So what is this place? This is the Temple of Karnuk. It's where the bravest of our tribe face trials of danger before they become warriors. Would you like to have a go? Okay. The trial is very straightforward. Enter the temple and try to make it out the other side in one piece. I'll meet you there, if you make it. The good news is there are actually checkpoints in this place, so you don't have to do it all in one go. There's no one-hit kill beetle? No stupid one-hit kill beetle. Out of 
Yes. Yep. Who knows? You may be you may end up to get that buddy key and upgrade and upgrade a rank. Uh, if I get thirteen thousand if I get up to thirteen thousand then I will. Oh good, checkpoint.
Although that also makes me look like an incredible dumbass. <laughs> Precise timing. Or just hug the side? No, just precise timing. Okay. Oh dear. Honestly, this is the easiest part of this area. Those are technically rails you can go across, but. I did die multiple times. Here is your reward. All right, now to teleport back to Baramudji Town because I'm not going to do the rest of this area over again. Go. Uh, there, there, there we go. I'm going to turn the volume back down again. Go ahead. And now I can actually show off the Warper Ring's ability because there's a place in Bush Rescue HQ that we can do that. 31 minutes. A good 15 of that is being cut out, so I'm going to go ahead and do the submission. If that's okay with you. Go ahead. I love how the map really doesn't know where Ty is. Look at it. Uh, Ty? Ty? Ty! You're in the living! You're in the void! Stay away from the void! Exit's there! Yeah, we don't even know what he's like! Yeah, I don't know why it does that. Uh, I thought those thought that was dark ether crystals. Yeah, the warper ring allows you to latch onto those things and and pull you, pull you towards them, and they pull you through anything, including a fence and wall and other walls and shit. Yep. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Two hundred opals. That's awesome. Spot for you when you're town as a whole is a great grinding spot. Is that what you do when you grind? Is that what you do when you when you're getting opals in between sessions? Yep, I just grind here. So is Ty like the manager of Bush Rescue or like or just the master? <laughs> Ty is an employee. Dennis is the one that runs the place. And you call it, but Ty is also the mascot. Uh, I guess. No one really, no one really, for some reason the general populace, populace don't know that Ty's the mascot. The entire flag is, the flag is... Apparently people in this world are massive dumbasses. Uh, Shazza went, remember at the beginning? Shazza's a, Shazza's not a dumbass. And also Ty's girlfriend, so... Yeah. Ah. Hi, Julius. Bye, Julius. I actually got a mission from him later on. Really? Yep. Oh, it's so 
Uh, SpongeBob would be, would be third game, Sly. How about Lenny? That works. <laughs> And no, 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 is if Sly opens up the chunk, the chunk bucket equivalent. Uh, <laughs> I don't think Sly would do that to his brother. Yeah, I don't think he would. Boss Cass? <laughs> yes, Boss Cass <laughs> opens up the chunk bucket he's like, you know what? This all shit went down the wrong way. So I'm just gonna do things the, the more unique way. Beat you in economics! And he constantly tries to steal the crap. <laughs> yeah. I need to come up with a better name than Tasmanian Patty. The Tazzy Patty. <laughs> the Tazzy Patty. <laughs> the Tazzy Patty. Okay, I, it's official. I'm leaving this entire conversation. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you? It's like, no, it's like during, like, we, the, the, instead of the cut screen, you just go, I have to leave this in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, Lava Rang, go. Catch up, bro. And now off to the beach. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool looking. Sure, it's still just it's not like charcoal. It's more like molten rock. It's like it's like well, a it's called lava for a reason. It's like it's like it's like it's made out of a rock that's half melted and somehow not falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Damn you, mud. So Shazza, I just had this brilliant idea to make this, to make, to open up a, a restaurant when this is all done. What do you think of the idea? Uh... <laughs> well, as long as, well as long as, well as long as Boss Cast doesn't try shit again, it would work. Driving along, driving along. Why is it that, oh, that we always end up funnier when we're trying to cut shit out? I don't know, maybe it's because we're not trying to talk about the game. Then we're just, then we're just being, we're just being ourselves. Whereas, well, I try and do that on a regular basis, but it never actually happens. Well, yeah, well, we're still trying to talk shit about the game. Eh. Shit about the game? No, talk to the game? Nah. Talk about shit that's going on in the game. Or I just say something completely boring and out of left field that causes everybody to, that causes everybody to laugh. Every, every once in a while. Yeah. Hey, I see some frills. Die. There's one Die. frill down? Two frill down? Oh, you left the frill alive. Yeah, no frill down, apparently. Uh, yeah. no. No, he must, no, he must go tell the story. <laughs> he must tell the story of how he survived two explosions. <laughs> no, he, he, he must tell the story of how Ty versus Merciless killed his brothers. No, his no, the other guy that was with him still remained alive. Want to know how I know? All of the opals magnetize to you when you kill an enemy. Yeah, I know. You'd think that running around this place would be a good training spot, but no. Very well, very well. Just having just crafts on everything. You get out. You get out of here. Yeah. You could possibly run around different areas and different level areas, but uh, that would be that. Would, I would only do that if you know where their collectibles are. Because after you get a collectible, it's replaced by an opal bag, and you can grab have that. Usually, it's a rather uh, usually it's worth quite a bit of opals too. We. <laughs> I was kind of expecting a ramp and then, and then a Grand Theft Auto stunt jump sequence where time slows down around you when you just get to see your epic is going oh! Slam! <laughs> God damn. I love how... I that, love was how quite, that, was, that was quite the break. I was gonna say, I love how Shazza can just stop on a dime like that. Yeah, that seat lock has got to hurt. I would imagine that I would imagine it would uh, feel like they're gonna crash when the airbag goes off. That's really gotta hurt for them, considering how long their their faces are. Yeah, that's really gotta hurt. That's gotta scrunch it up. Yeah, I can't imagine steering wheel air. I can't imagine airbags being a massively good thing for these people. No, it's not like they got especially designed to do it. So it'd be like a cup shape. <laughs> 
least our noses aren't broken. Speak for yourself. That's a, that's actually something I've that's actually some something funny I had seen the other day. Um, I was watching a show of mine and one, and someone got in a car crash. They were completely okay up until the point where the airbag went off and then it broke their nose. Ow! I didn't need that car. <laughs> I'm okay. Sort of. Plow. Never mind. I'm not okay! Okay, now we're really in the void. <laughs> this, uh, 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 this, was a, this one is at least semi-intentional. Maybe they just forgot to draw this part oh, of the map. Are you a sight for sore eyes? Rex went diving for treasure, but a school of sharks rocked up and now he's trapped in a sunken shipwreck. You have got to help him get out of there. I'll see what I can do, Elf. Hurry, Dal. He doesn't have much air left. How long has it been since we got this mission? Uh, quite a while. <laughs> so he has, so he's down about like 30 seconds of air left. Well, you don't even have a time limit for this. You just gotta kill the sharks. You just gotta go along the way. I do kind of like the theme for the sub. I don't need that. Are you just trying to kill every shark? No, you have a path you need to go down. Oh, I see it now. That little dot thing right there? Yeah. Just even make, just even make your way towards that. Ah! Ah! Unagi! Unagi again! I love how I'm firing off boomerang torpedoes. Really, that's what they are. They look Holy shit, they are! That's kind of good for the environment. We're called these toilet with all these fuel cans. I don't even know why they're here. I don't know why they're here either. You'd think the you'd think this bunyip would have a longer fuel would have better fuel economy than a hey, helicopter. Blood is to nibble on uh who's talking what? I think that was Rex. Oh, did you already save Rex and then you're going back? No, we gotta save Rex. The mission ends as soon as we get to him. Okay. And it's starting to get really freaking big, which means we're there. Oh, yeah, Mike. We can't hold me for forever. Yep. You know, sharks aren't really that bad. They're just very curious creatures, and their first reaction is when they see what it's in the know, put it in their mouth. End up like a bag of jump. I'm so glad to have well, that's you also back the reason why they're so dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Too right, Il. All thanks to our little mate, Ty. No worries. Rex just called, mate. Boss Cass has well, sabotaged the pipes that carry oxygen to the Wobbegong Bay Sea Lab. Is that the boss? He needs you no. to repair the pipes and fast. It's not until Mori really freaks out. Yeah. Okay, shall we end it off here? Sure. By the way, this is a very slight spoiler, but the boss of this section is Fluffy. Oh yeah, you told me this. Yeah. Anyway. We have been the Insane Duo in the next part of Let's Play Tad Tasmanian Tiger. We're going to go ahead and do that second sub-mission wow. since we're right next to it. Almost 47 minutes. God damn, that, that one optional mission took us for fucking ever. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to be doing, doing the next sub-mission, which, since it's right over the fuck, since it's right in that shack over there, and uh, let me take a look at the rest of the missions we have. I think, I think we'll do this one. Okay. Anyway, we shall see you then. Bye-bye.